Question two, who was Jesus to you? It only takes one word change to get to the next powerful question. While question one was, who is Jesus to you? Question two is, who was Jesus to you? Changes in their understanding of God and how they relate to him will give you a look into their spiritual journey and mindset. As they have experienced life, how has their impression of God changed over time? Now, this could lead to hours of deep conversation and help you explore what you could be getting into. You will learn more about how they grew up, their parents and family, when faith became more or less important to them, and for what reasons. All of these things are guiding most of our lives on a daily basis. We just don't know it or take the time to stop and think about it explicitly. But if you're going to get into a serious relationship with someone, do yourself a favor and make it explicit early on so you can learn about each other at this level. It's really a favor to them as well. Trust me, these things may lay dormant for a while, but they will surface at some point in any long-term relationship. Figure out what you can now. A simple way to break this down is to share with each other what you thought about God or Jesus or faith as a child, then as a teenager, and then as a young adult. Lastly, question three. Why or why not the change? Why didn't things change or why did they change between question one and two? Besides getting to know so much about them and their life experiences, you can discover which attributes of God are consistent for them. How do circumstances affect their faith and relationship with God? What does it mean for a potential serious relationship in the future? Hey, so there you have it. The most important question to ask someone who claims to be a Christian and wants to date you. One, who is Jesus to you? Two, who was Jesus to you? And three, why the change or why not? Thank you so much. Remember to click on the link in the description below to get your free dating guide and check out the links to all kinds of other resources. If you found this helpful at all, then please like it, leave a comment, and share it with others. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks so much.